Um, this is fantastic. This is, I mean, have you, what do you think of this junket? This is unlike anything else. Well, I was, I yeah. called Jason Blum because I found out that he spent more money on the junket than he did <laughs> yeah, on the Yeah, it looks film. like it. Yeah. <laughs> the production design and the experience it's is amazing. amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so James, you had like about less than a year to yeah. get this movie off the ground. Yeah. What were the, uh, the challenges of that? Time. Exactly. No, it was, uh, it was tough. It was tough, but in a good way, I think it, uh, I kind of knew what it needed, it should be, what I thought it should be, being out on the streets. I knew Frank's storyline and I knew the mother-daughter storyline even before Purge 1 opened. So it was a, it was, yes, a very short period of time. That's us. We're going to take a 22 second break. It's like 20 seconds. Good. Too, so we'll wait for that. that, yeah. that. I'll, and then I'll jump right back in. But, uh, wow, that, you know, that sounds my to that, my toilet in my bedroom. Wow. <laughs> Try back there? Yeah. yeah. We have a rule, my wife and I, you can pee, but don't flush. Yeah, that's what it sounds like? Yeah. So you wake everybody up. The whole building gets up. <laughs> Shoot, man. Sorry, man. I have to get that looked into. <laughs> it's only like 10 seconds, dude. What is that? Is that the uh, generator, like generator of some sort? There we, there we go. There we go. So, as I, I was saying, what was I saying? Oh my God. Uh, it's the prep and the... Oh, yeah. So, yeah, the short prep. Yeah, it's very difficult, but I couldn't have done it. I mean, very simply, if I didn't have at least two of the three storylines and the template of crossing the city with this kind of lone wolf anti-heroes helping these people across the city. If I didn't have that, when I got the call from Universal after that first weekend, I would have been like, I can't They called you after the first weekend? First weekend, yeah. That, Monday. Well, that was a good, that was a good weekend, weekend for you. <laughs> it was a crazy weekend, yeah. So, uh, but I think what allowed it to happen was knowing... What I thought, uh, the, even the audience one, I understood there was some frustration with the scope of the first film. Yeah. If I was the audience, I would have felt that frustration. Right. So I get it. Yeah, so, they don't, but they, what yeah. they don't understand is you have budgetary yeah, limitations. Days, so you can only yeah. do so much. Yeah, exactly. Right. You so. know, but I thought it was a good thing that the, the audience was, so, there's some people who are really mad. Yeah, they got mad. And <laughs> they did. It's exactly. mad because they wanted to see more. They did. So I'm and hoping, that, hopefully yeah. we delivered on, upon what yeah. they wanted. Frank, how do you prepare for a character like this who, who's gone through this tragedy and he's really at the end of his rope? Yeah, it's a great question. You know, it's uh, for me. It was what we wanted to pull off was, you know, I, I love the movie Outlaw Josie Wales and and the Clint Eastwood character who's kind of going about his business until his family gets killed and mm -hmm. he goes on this journey. He says very little, but you understand what he needs to get done. That was the template. Yeah. And I, you know, my my my, uh, I I, just, I begged him. I said, just don't let me get too sentimental or overly <laughs> emotional until the end. And then we'll surprise everybody. Yeah. And uh, so I think, yeah, we you know, together we kind line, of, yeah. yeah, held that line and yeah. pulled it off. And you're kind of playing the unwilling hero throughout the film. Right. I mean, uh, you know, it's crazy to think this way, but, you know, if you were in that situation, you think you could do some of the things that your character does? If that happened to me with my son, uh, you know, God, that's a, that's a great question, probably. Yeah. You know, I think the only thing that would prevent me from doing it is my other two kids. Right. You know, is, is having to know that they would then not have a father. So, but yeah, I, I'm not a, I, I do tend to be aggressive when it comes to my children, like a lot of us do. <laughs> yes, so, indeed, yeah, and yeah. I think that's why this movie, the, the, the concept of it is so intriguing because we all, whether it's, we're in a department store and, and we're, we get treated poorly. I think everybody at some point says, geez, if I could just get away with it. One time, mm -hmm. just if I could punch this person in the face, <laughs> not kill them, yeah. just punch, knock a two. It's hurt them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm sure this time you're prepped for the Purge three. If that happens, uh, do you have I, ideas on I that? I have some ideas. Oh, I'm, we I'm, got I'm, ideas. We got ideas. Yeah. Yeah. I got ideas with him. That's it. Yeah, yeah. No, we want to. We'd love to we'll do, do it together. together. Yeah. And then Frank wants to return. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's got we, unfinished business. Guys. We have, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And there are some interesting, especially with the with the Michael K. Williams character yeah. and stuff. I mean, I think I think you know with his with his the way he writes, which I, I'm just, I've become a huge fan. I don't like him very much. <laughs> no. but I, I think there's some. I think, He'd be the first one you have heard. Yeah, That's right. yeah. Come right after I get killed first. Experience. But no, he's. I have all the confidence that if we do get that green light to say, "Hey, what do you think?" That we yeah. come up with something interesting. Yeah.